Wrapping it up in race nine, it's the Anthony Dupros Memorial Handicap over the 1400 metres. It's a benchmark 77 for all comers and look great to see this race named in honour of a true Maury legend who did his best work raising money on the track and also on the golf course for kids with cancer through his golf group, the Maury Desperates. And looking at this last race, Mike, maybe it's the punters that could seem desperate because this is a very, very tough race, a real mix of trainers, a big field, and only one last start winner, I think, in the race. Yeah, one word to describe this race. Wow, what a massive field. I've only just finished the analysis 15 minutes before the show started. <laughs> I'm still sweating. Benchmark 77, 1,400 metres with a fair tempo. It's a big field. And we talked about those conditions and bias. The off-rails bias, if it does come, it should come late in the day. OK, so watch out for that there on Saturday. Let's have a look at the market now for the get-out stakes. It is the last leg, and wow, look at this. We've got a big betting race here. Beacon, $5 the field. Fierce Impact's the one they've come for today. $8.50 into $6. Schubert there with a little bit of Beacon form, $7.50. Cool Vinny, wasn't that horse unlucky last start? $9. Sparky Lad, $9.50. Volpe, $10. But Mike, this is, looks wide open here in the last. Could be the get out stakes. Yep, and you just have to show 60 seconds or 45 <laughs> seconds of footage, whatever it is, to see exactly why it's such an evenly matched race. Look, so many horses come through this 1300 metre benchmark race at Warwick Farm a couple of weeks ago. We've highlighted a few of them, but there is way more in the field. Reby Rampart near the pace, fighting on pretty well. Schubert with the white cap and the Godolphin colours, kicking back late to win. And Beacon putting in an almighty sprint down the outside. Well, it's a classic case here of just which sort of runner here do you want to take? You know, is it the boys in blue down the outside? Have they got more progression? Are you looking inside tough? Reby Ramparts. But look, they're all hitting this line together. Yeah, fierce impact. Ridden for luck up the inside for Matty Smith. Was really strong late, but only 1,400 metres second up. Maybe he wants further already. I didn't see too many hard luck stories in that race, Mike, but I'll tell you who did have one last start, and that was Cool Vinny. So if you were on it, you might want to look away here. Well, we were on it. <laughs> we <laughs> can't the, look away. In the blue hat. Yeah, we did right. We can look at it again, though. Blue hat absolutely gets crunched in a minute. This horse is flying. We are pretty sure he's going to be oh. backed on Saturday. He was really strong three starts ago. And listen to the horses he ran third to, Princess Posh, who was a moral yep. beaten last Saturday, and Bonhomie. Who's obviously in fantastic form. He went to the provincial championships final and got absolutely no luck for three or four hundred metres. And we don't need to tell you what happened in that race because that was awful watch. Oh, I don't like watching those sort of races, Mike. But look, that's the last race of the day. Let's get stuck into it. Form and key factors. The punters want a winner in the last. Yeah, we're rating him on three starts ago for good reason. Light up Cool Vinny. We reckon he's got the best form. Got the best form, but there's a few horses sniffing here, Mike. Progression. Yeah, looking for horses with upside, fierce impact. You've got to say he's got upside for Matty Smith. Play yard, up in distance, getting better all, all the time. He's got upside too. Okay, well, looks as though there's plenty in this race, Mike. Distance at stage of prep. Yeah, play yard was well backed at Scone last start. I think the trainer and the stable knew that he's going to love the 1,300 metres. The 1,400 metres could be even better for that horse. Okay, what about a good four Ramwick? Is this going to help us? Well, I think Fierce Impact, a big swooping stay, will like it. Schubert will like Ramwick as well, but... We're just guessing. It's pretty evenly matched. It's a bloodbath. The four <laughs> top Raiders. We've got the Quaddy. We've got the Quaddy killer here, Mike. This is a really, really level field. Who's going to come out on top here? I mean, this is where the punters. Look at them at home. They're having a look here. One, two, three, four. All together. You've, you've just done all this analysis, as you said. You've just finished. This has got to be a field job for the Quaddy. Well, it could be a field job, or you could just play a few angles, couldn't you? Obviously, with so many horses with similar form lines. Punters at home will know it sometimes can be value to back the form lines that are different because one of those form lines show up, you'll get the win and you'll get them a good odds. Cool Vinny, we've talked about him a couple of times before. He's one of the equal top riders. He's big odds. He's a great each way bet. We think he'll be flying home late. If it's a swoopers day, he's a great bet for sure. And play yard from the inside barrier, up in distance, we think he's a player as well. And screamer, he's massive odds. He almost got the value bet. All right, so Cool Vinny to get a bit more luck, hopefully, on Saturday. I reckon that might be a nice wide end of the quaddy there, Mike. So let's